Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard, Frank. Congratulations! I'm here. Yes, he's a new dad. Well, well you're an no, old you, dad with a new uh, reason to be like a dad. It's like a new car. It's like you have you've had your license, but like you get a new car. You know what I'm saying? No, you're not good at. at uh, you sure? You no, sure you're about not. that one? No, it's like I having just a license. I just compared my newborn daughter to a vehicle. To a di- yes. To, to, a, to car. a driver's license. Yeah. Well, no, I'm the driver's license. Okay. Being a dad is the driver's license. You see why this is not a good analogy? Yeah, I guess, I guess I'll concede here, and I yeah. will admit that I lost that but one. But you got a new baby. What's her name? I did get a new baby. Uh, it was handed to me, and then I... By the stork. By the stork. The stork gave it. Uh, her, uh, Maeve. 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 And it's funny. The inst- like As soon as the first person we told the name, because we, you know, we didn't do name. We didn't tell people names beforehand. Right. He goes, oh, from the show The Boys. And that's the last place that I connected that I name. went to sex education. Uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't name it after a character. Yeah. But, like, there are names in that show. But, like... What would you name it after? Why'd you like the name? The only the only name in there is her middle name, and it's after uh, Robin, Maeve Robin. And it's... Uh, Batman and Robin. N- no. Uh, Robin for, Egg Blue. That's a good color. Um, it is a good color. Also, Robin Eggs, underrated Easter candy. Yeah. Very, I kind of like them, too. The big ones. The little ones yeah. are too, like, stupid and idiots. My, my sister likes the Cadbury cream eggs. That I don't Disgusting. like. Disgusting. Yo, it's legitimate, like, jizz in there. There it is. There, that's what I was going to say. I don't like that. They do have the caramel ones, which aren't too bad, but, like, with candy, oh, with candy, I don't want cream. Like, yeah, I don't want cream. It sounds a little too... I like donut cream. I like my donuts to cream on me, for sure. And I like them to jelly on me, too. Well, you've been... I thought you liked the cream in you, in, in, in the donuts. Real nice. You're well, a father, for God's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Go no, the only, the only name that was after... We just liked the name Maeve. The only name that has meaning, I guess, is her middle name, Robin, and it's after Robin Williams. Oh, wow. You like, the, you like that one, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's a cute one. I like Robbie Will. Good old Robbie Will. Yeah. Uh, uh, what does Maeve mean? I think it's like... Like P- protector of the night, something like that. I don't know, or it's like seduction, seduction, or something. I, I, or like Ew. influential, or something like that. Influential. I don't, I don't know, but apparently there's like a a story of like a an ir an Irish queen, and her name was Queen Maeve, and she like just slaughtered a bunch of guys. That's fire. That's pretty cool. So is she cool? I mean, she looks just like you, your daughter. That's so funny. I don't. I guess I don't see it because all babies come out looking like old men aliens. I know, and like that's the thing. <laughs> I say that, and I, because I never see a newborn baby and go, oh, she has your nose or whatever. I'm like, this is a, just a thing. This, it's a mush. It's a clay. It's, it's it just is. a bunch of clay. That's exactly what. Someone wh- tried to do pottery. And, and was made not a, doing well. And made a baby. And was drunk. Yeah. You know? But when I saw the picture of your daughter, I was like, this looks just like Frank. Really? Yeah. The first thing we noticed when we came out is the hair. She came out with a full fucking head of hair. Dude. Oh, yeah. Like, like a big old head of hair. Yeah. And that's the first thing we noticed. And we noticed what Ruby, Ruby had my eyes. She has big eyes, big dark eyes. Big dark eyes. And careful. I didn't say big dark guys. Careful there. I know exactly what you were doing. <laughs> you fucking little prick. What? Uh, and we saw the hair and we were like, oh, that's what she got for me. But she's actually pretty fair skinned like Becca. Jeez, Great. Hate, She's going to sunburn. I hate fair-skinned people. Uh, well, <clears throat> you, I, I do. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I do. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, Are but, you, though? Are you really? I am kidding. Cool. Uh, but I, there's actually a funny story about when she was born. So did I, did I ever tell you? I don't know if I spoke about this on the show, but the labor with Ruby, after like the labor went great. Like, this fucking, like, in and out. Like, quick. Well, careful with that sound and my wife's vagina. I, I'm saying, like, boom, bah. Like, came right out. Still not a good sound. I'm not making good sound. <laughs> not at I? all. Uh, but afterward, she had got something called spinal headaches. Which oh, yeah. happens when you get, like, an epidural. Like, the spinal fluid leaks and it causes... Bro, a headache, probably. Br- but that's undercutting it. I've had headaches in my life. Yeah. Apparently, like, Becca would stand up and she would hold her head because she thought it was going to pop. <laughs> That's Bro, crazy. insane. And so we, this time, we were really, 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 like, cognizant and, like, trying to do what we could to avoid spinal headaches. Uh, so when these nurses come in, bro, they ask the same 
20 questions. There's like different people poking you and prodding you and they're always asking like, what's your name, confirm birth date, stuff like that. And I think I, I, I made the nursing staff believe that I was just like some like real piece of shit, like <laughs> asshole. Okay. <laughs> What'd you do? So the nurses had asked questions to Becca. She's getting poked and prodded. And one of the ones that they asked a bunch of times was what was the last thing you ate? And the last thing she had eaten earlier that morning was a bagel with cream cheese. And they, no joke, asked her like four or five times. And she was experiencing contractions, so it was getting to a point where she was like super uncomfortable and couldn't answer. Right. So the anesthesiologist comes in and uh, they go, what's the last thing you ate? And there's a fucking giant fan in this room blowing that you can't hear shit. And this woman, the nurse, was re really nice, but she was under a mask and she was like, hey, what are you doing? You couldn't hear shit. Yeah. So, it, by the way, you've done a great job justifying whatever you're about to do. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so I slapped her and no, was like, "What'd you no, say?" No, 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 no. So the nurse goes, "Beck is having a contraction. You could tell. You could see it on the screen and in her fucking face. She's doing the contraction face. She's doing the." Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and the nurse goes, "What was the last thing you ate?" And I step in. You know how, like, in, like, movies and TV, there's, like, the abusive husband. Yeah. And she's fine. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. she's ordering the waffle. Yeah, I yeah. want the burger. Right. You know? And I, like, stepped in because I knew she was having contractions. So I said, I was like, bagel, 9 a.m. this morning or whatever. <laughs> and I thought they said what type. And I, in my head, I was like, they really want to know this type of bagel she yeah. had. So... I whatever whatever they said I heard what type so I go cinnamon raisin lightly toasted little bit of cream cheese on it <laughs> what did they say bro everyone is like what the fuck what did they say though they, I, I think they asked like what time, oh, what or, time? or some shit <laughs> <You> said, <laughs> so the anesthesiologist goes dad take a walk what I go I got kicked out of the room like immediately, bro. Like <laughs> right after, like raising? a minute after, maybe he goes, "Dad, take a walk." And he was one of the cool doctors. He came in with like one of those like bandana skull yeah, things, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like the medical ones. Yeah, this one had like pirate faces on. He had it. like an unstrapped like yes, thing, yes, like a mask. Yes, and I go and they're like, "Go take a walk," and I leave the room. And it's when they're giving her the epidural. Now I'm sure it's like protocol, but when I got back. I, I tried to come back in like twice and they were like, no, no, no. And when I got back, Becca was like, they were asking me like if I'm safe at home. <laughs> <laughs> we were dying laughing because me answering like, made them like the nurses were like, oh yeah, okay, get out. And yeah. They were like, is everything okay? Yeah. Is this fucking idiot? Are you allowed to, or do you even like cinnamon, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> What cream like, cheese? He's really forcing it on yeah. me. <laughs> cream yeah. cheese? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so it was funny. We were laughing because we were like me. Uh, like I was trying to do the right thing. Yeah. Because in the in labor, I'm not in labor. Right. She is. It's so like it's happening pretty quickly when like things are happening. There's a lot of downtime where like you might just be lying around and resting. Mm -hmm. But like when things are happening, it's like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So I wanted to. Like she was, exp she was so uncomfortable and in pain that I wanted to just respond for her, <laughs> but it made them think like the nurses are like, "What fucking idiot!" Cinnamon raisin, bro, and I was nine a.m. Bro, and I was such in that moment. Lightly tossed. Why would they need to know? <laughs> I don't know. They need to know diet and shit like that. Oh like, my god. In that moment, I felt like <laughs> such a knight in shining armor. Like oh. I was like, I was like, I'm on, like, lay back, babe. I can, I can do this. Do me a favor. Lightly toasted, <laughs> cinnamon raisin, a little bit of cream cheese, and uh. I was so. I made them think that like, <laughs> wow, this guy is so stupid, and he's got to be fucking possibly Yo, physically abusing her. That is so funny. Picture. What what time <laughs> you answer with lightly toasted <laughs> cinnamon raisin? But oh my god! I'm, I'm sh I, I think it's also. Were you like, like? Were you annoyed though in that moment, or you just felt no. you thought you said it too loud? No, I, I I knew like when they give her the epidural, they need her to like relax so she can get this big fucking needle. No, but I'm saying when like what do you think you just said it in a way that they misunderstood? Like like were you like 
kind of fed up with all the questions, you know? Because, like, they're asking the same things. So you're like, no, it was 9 a.m. was a cream it's cheese. Such, like, I tried to ride a balance, like, because you know how I am. In hospital, like, in situations, I try to, like, crack jokes and be, like, witty. Yeah. But, like, I need to know that, like, I don't think Becca likes that in all situations. I know, I mean, that's not true. I know she does. She's fine with it. But, like, when she's experiencing pain, I need to yeah. be aware, like, read the room a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying here. Like, there were multiple times where, like, they would say something and I had the fucking response teed up in my head. But I was like, <laughs> just stop, Frank. Yeah. Let, you know, and in that oh. moment, I felt so like I'm on this. Yeah, I'm on this. So oh, sh- you don't God. need to respond, babe. That's so fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know. But then you had the baby and everything. And then was... the baby's there. Cut the cord again. Is that cool? So, wait, they just hand you a pair of scissors. Bro, we talked about this. It's so funny. It, I know, but I don't remember. Someone recently posted the clip on TikTok, based on you on TikTok. Are you having a. Of you clipping the thing? Of us talking about it when Ruby was born. I don't even remember that conversation. I don't remember conversations as soon as we're done with this. I know, me neither. But, like, you were, like, super excited and gross out at the exact same time. Because it's, like, it's kind of cool, but also at the same time, I'd be like, ew, ew, ew. Ah." Well, that's exactly it. It was was pretty rad, again. And it, you know, they hand me the, like, the baby's in their hands, and they're like, Dad? Is it, like, scissors, or is it, like, the mayor opening a a nail salon? (laughs) It's like, all right, Dad, here you go. And you're like, there you go. <laughs> they don't bring out the giant one. No, they're like medical scissors. So they look like this. And then like, like it like hinges upward like that. Nice. So like you like close down on it and it fucking whams. Whams at it. It whams. Does it, does it like spray? No, it's not like a is dead there, snake. But is there spray? Is something spray? There's no spray. There's no, no There's nothing spray. Nothing comes out. I, don't, I didn't see anything come out. Okay. I could be wrong, but... And then, you know, I cut it and they took her over to like the fucking, they put her in like some like thing. I don't know what it is, but like they like check her vitals and legs. This is, is going to be a stupid question. Yeah, I'm ready for it. The, 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 God damn it. I know this is going to be a clip <laughs> and we're going to be in trouble, but like <laughs> the umbilical cord. Yes. Right. You're a dad. So you have to know this. I, I can still be dumb, but like it's connected to the baby. Yeah. Right. And then it's connected to what? It's like a parachute. You know when like people yeah, but like, are like it's on the in, it's going in there it's going in I think I, I but is it is it also connect it has to be connected it's to connected something. inside I so, believe okay. it's connected to the placenta I'm probably wrong yeah but okay but like but I'm saying like when you cut it right obviously this end you cut it off the baby we make a little bing bong right yeah and then <laughs> but the other half is still snaking out of you know are well you they just have gotta pull that out so or? Uh, something that a lot of people don't know is that when women give birth. Vaginally, I don't know what it's like. Uh, Anally, <laughs> no, I don't know when it's like a cesarean, but they have to kind of give birth twice. So they give birth, and then they have to give birth to the placenta. To all the bullshit, yeah. Yo, well, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but they have to like give birth to the placenta. Yeah, and I think that's what the thing is hooked up to. Oh. So that's what I'm saying. Like it's like you know when you see people skydive and they throw the they the first they, one they throw the first one and it's like. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, well, nothing is doing that. Right. But, like, that's what it is. It's like when they throw the parachute. Got it. It's hooked up to the umbilical cord. Okay, so the second, it's, it's hooked up to the second birth of the stuff. The uh, uh, placenta, I believe. Like, they're not going in, they're like, we got to unhook this. No, well, then they have to go in and do, like, a fucking a mas- scrape. A, a massage scrape. and shit like that. Oh. Yeah, bro, it's wild. Women go through it. Oh, so there's some whole hands in there i don't know about whole hands but i know because i i wasn't looking i wasn't looking becca said she's like listen keep, really she's like keep your eyes up here oh i would i would i would be like i have to well have the, to. The, like with ruby at like at one point i peeked and i saw the baby's head and i was like good all right like I, you know she asked me not to be like super involved down there so i i didn't want to you know Damn. uh what about this one did you get a little what was that? Like a, a peek at what was happening? Like I said, I was standing up with her, and then they, they I looked They got down. mirrors and shit, too, right? They don't have mirrors. Oh, so she can't see? No. She's never seen it? I, I don't know. I guess not. Wow. Uh, I'd have to. I mean, it's her body. If she doesn't want me to see it, I'm going to say, like, okay. You know, yeah. like, who am I to argue it? No, of course. But I'm saying, like, if I was her, I'd be like, well, I got to see what's happening. Oh, like you want to, like, like, they say girls do that. Like, I got to see my stuff. Like, they use mirrors to look at their their wand. I thought it was, like, standard that there would be a mirror. I would assume, like, everyone needs to know what they look I like. I get her being like, don't, don't look. But for me, if I'm her, I'd be like, well, I have to. Well, I mean, I guess of- that's, yeah, that's you. When you give birth, you, you could do that. I, I don't know, honestly. I've never <laughs> asked Becca if she's seen it, 
you know, as it's going on. Yeah, as it's as it's. As it's I would assume on. that'd be a little tough. It'd be tough because like. Well, no, bro. You you're not fucking. How you doing? I'm saying someone has like a, you know a little. A little bar. Oh, right there's not there. someone in the back with like a fucking like a, a white screen. Monitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you know you know like Italian mobsters what they sunbathe with. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's that like big, one of those. That big, like, fucking, like, three-way mirror. It's like a foldable thing. Yes. Uh, no. I don't, Why I, do people put that in the windshield of their car? What does that do? It ke- it stops the inside of the car from getting too hot. Oh, that's fucking. Stupid. Yeah, just let your car get hot. Yeah, like, just deal with it. Deal with a hot ass seatbelt. Yeah, exactly. That's what keeps you know people from not having their kids or pets in the car. I tell you what. In my old car, my Mazda, it was all black. The interior was black. Got real hot. Yeah. Couldn't get in my car because of the handle. And then once I get past that, the whole inside is hot. Bro. I was driving like with my fingers because I was like, my steering wheel is hot as shit. Dude, that's my car. Black leather steering wheel, black cloth seats. So like I get in and it is 130 degrees yeah. and I literally have to start the car and like I use, I put my hand through the steering wheel and I use that. <laughs> you drive like this. Mm-hmm. A little higher though. <laughs> <laughs> you I thought of that immediately as soon as you looked at my hand. I was like, don't fucking do it, you bastard. Uh, but yes, birth, baby's good. How was the... Uh, Mom is good. How was the uh, cafeteria situation? Like, after the baby was born, like, what are you guys eating there? You uh, they, it was all Jello, right. Jello? Uh, no, regular food. Regular, Applesauce? Regular food. Uh, well, there was other stuff. Bananas. They did have bananas. The food this... I gotta say, the first time, the food was pretty good. This time, not so great. So we ordered. Damn. We ordered. We, I ordered. Fucking fat stuff, dude. Nice. I ordered a fat Reuben sandwich. Whoa. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. From a neighbor for like our like favorite like like brunch lunch spot is right across the street from the hospital. Yeah. And we got that shit. Damn. Bro, if you ever come by us, Taylor Sam's. Woo Brick, New Jersey, guys. I'm telling you, that place is fucking Booby Central. <laughs> Booby Central. Like the food, I mean. Uh, the waitresses got fat knockers and then I out got, there, bro. And then I had gotten stuffed churro French toast. Oh, don't even say. It. Wait, how does it? Wait, what does that mean? They, they, it's so it's like cinnamon French toast. They cut it open. They stuff it with like a cream cheese filling, oh. and then they cut up fresh churros and throw them on top. What? Yeah, dude. Oh my god, that just <laughs> got me fucking horny. Yeah, dude. man. Yeah, it was really good. Oh my god, but you can't eat that. You'll die. No, I ate it. <laughs> and I didn't die yet. Yeah, it's still time. It's still time. Uh, but yeah, everything's good. We went home, and uh, you know now it's just insanity with three kids. Beautiful, great. It's crazy. Yeah. When are you gonna have your first kid? Well, you know, I have no idea. But also, I, uh, you know, you had that happen for you, um, and that was probably really tough to deal with. Me, uh, one of the biggest problems I ran into in the last couple of days is the fact that I bought a bunch of bananas. And then I didn't eat them fast enough. Yeah. And I didn't know this about bananas, but like apparently they just eventually piss their pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they become like fucking wet. Well, yeah. Like I have them in this like wooden bowl. Oh, so it was soup? It was a swamp? There was there was banana piss. It was like a, a Shrek's boggy swamp. And like I there. like them to be like some like kind of dark and like whatever. Like, I, you know, more ripe. It's like better I heard or something. Like, well, well if, if, you're making, if you're making banana bread, you got, this, you got the stuff right there. No, I don't make banana. I just make smoothies with it. Like I, I rarely just eat a fucking banana. I just like make a smoothie with okay. bananas. All right. But I, I picked up the bananas and then the whole fucking bunch just fell off of the thing. Yeah. And then into... Piss, banana piss, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, "What is this?" Yeah, man, bananas. Become, what is that though? They just like shit their pants. It's like pee pee. I think it's like banana shit. Like it's pee pee, banana pee pee. Yeah, and and it it, it could be very stinky. It and, is stinky. And you you better hope you clean that son of a bitch well, because if not, you're getting fruit fly galore, baby. But how do fruit flies become? They smell them. But where do they come from? Fruit. But how did they get in here? I think there's like, all right, hear me out. How does a fruit fly get into my apartment? Bro, they're like dogs. They can smell that shit from miles away. They're like sharks. You drop a single drop of blood in the ocean, a sh- sharks are coming. That's how it is with fruit. If there's stank ass, disgusting pee pee fruit, <laughs> those fruit flies are on their way, dude. They're so weird. I don't like fruit flies because they look like flying dandruff. I hate fruit flies because they make me look so stupid when I try to kill them. 
Yeah. You know, because they're, they're, they don't fly that fast. But I swipe so fast that it pushes that out of the, the way. air pushes the fruit fly out I the know. way. You so gotta I, get a vacuum and just go like this. Well, I've two things. One, I, I do the clap. So that's how you try to kill stuff. That's how I try to kill it. Or I'm gonna get the bug gun. What the fuck is that? You don't know about this thing? No. It's called like bug assault, and you what? It looks like a Nerf gun. It sounds like a felony. <laughs> Your favorite type of assault. <laughs> um. You put, it's like a, it looks like a Nerf gun and you put table salt in it and say there's a fly right there and you shoot it and air pressure shoots a little bit of salt and it fucking hits and kills the bug. How do they get killed by salt? What are they, slugs? Bro, if you got hit by a little rock that was coming at you 80 miles an hour in the fucking face, you died too, Joey. Oh, okay. Because they, it fires it quick. It's like. Like one grain or just a whole little blast? Like it's, a shotgun it's, blast? It's like a shotgun blast. So it like sprays, but it doesn't, it's like, and it's a little bit of salt that you can just then wipe up. That'd be cool to have just for like margaritas. Oh. Like walking around the party, it's like, take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the shot gun that I had gotten for one year for my birthday? Remind me. Dude, so I don't know if you remember for my, my birthday being in the summer, Every year, my siblings would get me, like, a fucking, like, drinking paraphernalia thing from, uh, what's it called? Uh, Spencer's? Yeah. I got the boot. Remember, I was the original boot haver. You did love the boot. I, I still love that boot, you stupid bitch. Uh, I would get, like, random things. And one year, it was a shot gun. And it looked like, it had, like, a little canister, like a gray canister. You open it, and you put a shot in it. And it had, like... You know how on like nipple water bottles it has the like little butthole? The uh what? You know what I'm talking about. It's like a piece of silicone that's like cut like that. Oh, oh, yeah, and you could finger it? Well And there's like fl it's like flaps. Back up. Why is that the first place you went? I mean, come on. You're fingering water bottles here, Joe? No, not no. Not no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, all right, regardless. And you'd fill it, and then you'd put it in the thing, and you'd, like, pull the thing back, and you would fire it, and it would shoot, like, a fucking stream of a shot. And you would shoot people with shots? Yeah. How from how far away? Oh, not very far, but like, still, it was pretty pretty rad. Yeah, I don't... Jesus, you're really pushing that, aren't you? Uh, Joey, come on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't... I, I honestly don't remember that, but I'm also not a shot guy, so, so I probably So what did you end you. up doing with the... The piss? The banana water. Oh, I just, like... Clean the bowl. Did you dump it down the sink? Yeah. What is it, like oil? Yeah, you're not Yo, supposed you know, to do that. Uh, I don't believe you, but uh, <laughs> I know it's a lie. So but close. like, <laughs> Literally not close at all, actually. <laughs> Very um, close to getting you. But I forgot what I made, but there was a ton of oil. And I was like, I, know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I know I can't put it down the drain. Yeah. So I put it in a mason jar. And then I Googled. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? I was honestly just going to launch it. Oh, yeah? But I was like, just let the world deal with this. Yeah. And not me. Not you. You know. You could, I mean, if it's like bacon grease. You I can, don't remember what it was. You can just like keep it and then use it as like a shortening. Like, you know how people cook with butter or vegetable oil or whatever? You yeah, can do it like but that. I'm not that Another guy. one that I've done that I learned recently is get a bowl, line the bowl in aluminum foil. Pour it in there, let it congeal, ball up the aluminum foil in the trash. Well, what I ended up doing is I put it in there, and then they're like, just freeze it, um, and then and then throw it out. But then I ended up throwing out the mason jar too. You fucking! I knew I knew that's what was gonna what happen. What was I gonna here. do? I was gonna funnel it out like fucking. Yeah, use a rubber spatula, get that bitch out of there. I can't get a spatula in a fucking mason jar. Are you familiar with jars? Are you familiar with rubber spatulas, Joe? I don't have one of those like bendable ones. Why the hell would you have that? What are you cooking with a bendable spatula? Many things. No, they have to be a little stiff Joey, so that you could flip it. Yeah, them. it's not rubber like I go like this and they're fucking wiggling around like a limp dick. Oh, be, I, okay. So if they're not like that, then you're not fitting that in a mason jar. Yes, though. you are, dude. Without ruining it? No, you're going to warp the thing and then you're going to be fucking. You Do know, you? Hold on. Pancakes. Hold on. You seriously don't understand the idea of rubber spatulas? Like, they're not rubber, they're silicone, so they don't burn. But like oh oh you're talking we're talking about different things. What are you talking about? I was thinking spatulas, but you're talking about the things that you like beat like eggs with. Not no, that's uh, that is a no, whisk. No, 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 not the whisk, bro. The white thing, that like 
when my when my mom when it <laughs> would you be care, careful bro no the when my mom would make like cupcakes or something yeah she'd like mix it with that's that. a rubber spatula and I used to bite them and suck on them well again <laughs> yo I'm honestly doing the show you're fingering things you're <laughs> sucking on things it's so crazy I've figured out that I like have sucked on a lot of stuff no penises there it is they clip, they clip that but like not yet there's still time there is time there's always time. There's always, I mean, <laughs> but that's what you're talking about. Those things. Yeah. Yeah. I guess if I don't, I don't have watch, them actually. Watch this. Just get one. They're very cheap. I mean, whatever. The jar, jar went. The jar went. At that, the end of the that's day, a little, the that's, jar went. That's super elitist of you, Joe, to just be like, I'm just gonna toss this whole fucking jar. Dude, it was a, a mason jar. It wasn't a magic lamp. <laughs> like it's not expensive. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, to some people it is. It's relative. Do you seen the price of eggs lately? By the way, that whole thing, I go down, down, I go to the supermarket, there's eggs. I, I have to say, there are eggs, and they're not like... I'm very confused. I'm not seeing the price of eggs at the moment and being like, holy shit. It's like, yeah, it's, it's been creeping there. But there are people that are finding like cartons of eggs for like 40 bucks. Where do these people live? In chickenless shithole fucking states. <laughs> I don't know. This is what happens when you live in Wyoming. There's nothing fucking... <laughs> But yo, I'm not living in this. I also don't really eat eggs like that. Oh, we eat eggs pretty, quite a bit. If I'm making breakfast, it's more often than not oatmeal or like a smoothie or both. Is there any happiness and joy and color to your life? If I'm making it, if I'm ordering it, that's a different story. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Oatmeal. Bro, be fucking, you know what I made for breakfast this morning? I made myself a fucking egg taco, a breakfast taco. Taco. Yes. With a hard shell? No, a soft shell. Okay, good. Yo, hard shells are whack. No, nah, shut up. They're pretty good. But if they're accompanied by a soft. Well, even with hard we actually had hard shells recently. Not that bad anymore. No, but, they're, but they like bite and then it's like everywhere. No, 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 no. They, they hold they, up. They, they hold figured up. out. They figured out how to make them kind of, you know, a little more sturdy. I like that then. We I do, like a fucking, I like a hard shell. We do the cheesy gordita crunches at our house. I like that too. We put the soft shell down. We put some cheese. We put a hard shell and open. And you close it up. close that little bad and boy. And it's like glue. And then you get the crunch. It is like glue. I like that. And it is so delicious, dude. And it is something that we should be doing. I so like wait, so you dispose of the banana juice. Yeah, that I just poured down the drain and then I cleaned the bowl. But I was like, ew, like these things piss and shit themselves. Did like you throw the babies. bowl out? No, I kept the ball. Are you sure? Yeah, I swear to God. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Was there any part of you that was just like, I... No, because it wasn't that much. And it also, like, if it had, like, hardened and, like, looked weird, definitely would have thrown it out. It, I don't know that I've thrown something out recently. Like, I, I don't know. Well, you did the mason jar. Fair. <laughs> I guess that counts. But I haven't, like... You know, like a plate or like forks and knives or something. Can I ask you something seriously? <laughs> yeah. Serious question. Yeah. You know, everyone hates sink water, like dirty dish water. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like if there's like a bunch of food and shit in dishes and it fills up and it's like gray uh, okay. and brown and shit like that. Yeah. If you if you drop like a spoon in there, are you cleaning the spoon or are you throwing it out? Oh, no. I just put it in like the dishwasher. Good. Smart. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we didn't no, lose no, it no. completely. No, no, no. I don't throw stuff out unless it's like there's like mold on it. I'm like, well, that is done. So, or uh, you, know what I, you know what I have thrown out probably more than anything? Protein shakers. Yeah, but those things are, those are, those are interchangeable and stupid. Well, it's just because they, they fucking smell like, like if I don't clean them immediately, because yes. I, I have to for whatever reason. Like if I sh have a protein shake. Joey's very humble way of reminding us he works out. <laughs> Every day when I have my protein shake after I fucking bench. <laughs> no, but <laughs> if I have a protein shake and then I forget about it or like I, it's like on the counter or something and then I come back to it like hours later, I'm like. It stinks. It stinks like dog shit. Yeah, and it just like looks Ugh. And I'm like, yeah. this is not going to be clean when I clean it. You know what was even worse? When I was at like the height of like my hyper being in the gym phase, being a gym rat, Yeah, I would use three different shaker cups, one for my pre, one for my intra, and one for my post, and they all stunk. And I would always forget all three of them in the car. <laughs> so I would ha I, at one point, I had like 10 fucking shaker cups that I just didn't know what to do with. I think there's one in my car at the moment, actually. I have more metal those metal like balls like that mix those or whatever i have more of those than i have fucking whatever also threw out a bunch of my i have like the ninja bullet mm. those cups have thrown out a ton of those too really i only have one now 
So if that one's not clean, I can't have a smoothie. How many did your fucking Ninja Bullet come with? Like It came with two, and I bought two more. Oh, I was going to say, whoa, Joey, you threw out so many. No, I came with two, and then I threw them both out, I think. And then I bought two more, and then I threw one of them out, and I'm down to one. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. You get rid of the Ninja Bullet and just get like a bigger, like get like a Vitamix or something. What is that? You know what Vitamix is, dude? Vitamix? Yeah. Get something like that. It's just like easier. I could just like do it and then drink nah. it. I got to say, I've been gone. We, we had pre-recorded some stuff. I'd been gone. I missed you. I miss you too, dude. Yes! Fuck yes! I knew I would get it. It was it. way too loud. I don't know if oh, I missed no, that. No, you don't realize, man. That, that made me feel good. Yeah? Best thing that's ever happened to you in the last like month or so? Uh, no. Uh, I can't put a number to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there, though. Cool. Um, we do have some sponsors for today. Let's get into that. The first one being Squarespace, okay? Squarespace, amazing. Uh, you're going to want to use Squarespace to uh, start building your websites. Um, they're awesome. I've used Squarespace numerous times before. The reason why I love them so much is because they have these awesome templates and they make your they make it easy to kind of build your website. You don't have to like, you know, do all this coding or whatever the hell. Um, but it's great. They have all these tools. Uh, you know, it's kind of like an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Um, and you could engage with your audience. You could sell anything, your products, content you create, or whatever you want. Uh, it's great. So. Uh, go to squarespace.com slash basement uh, for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Um, so yeah, if you have a website or you have some content you create and you want your own website, which I highly recommend doing, um, Squarespace is an awesome thing to, to get started with. And you can go on there, like I said, go to uh, squarespace.com uh, slash basement for a free trial. Uh, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BASEMENT, and you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain, all right? So go check them out, and uh, let me see your websites. We'll see if it's better than the first one I ever made, which was horrible. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Uh, BetterHelp is online therapy. Uh, you can talk to a therapist uh, that are professionally vetted and... Uh, you know, decorated. Um, and you can talk to a therapist in under uh, 40, 48 hours, I believe. Um, so you can get a quick sort of startup if you want to dip your toe into the better help world of therapy. Um, but they're great. They have millions of people that have taken control of their mental health using like through their platform. Um, so yeah, if you're thinking about giving therapy a try, uh, you know, it's a great option. It's affordable, flexible, uh, definitely more affordable than in-person therapy, which is, you know, wild. Um, all you have to do is fill out a questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you could switch therapists at any time if you feel like one's not the right fit for you. Um, but yeah, go to betterhelp.com slash basementyard today to get 10% off your first month. That is betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash basementyard for 10% off of your first month. So you get a little hooked up there. Uh, and lastly here, we're just going to fit this one in. Uh, we have stamps.com. Uh, stamps.com brings uh, all the amazing... Um, services of the post office to your office space or wherever your computer is. Uh, all you need is a computer and a printer and you can print, uh, you know, U.S. postage or wherever, from wherever you are um, at, at whatever time. You want to do it at 3 a.m., kind of weird, but do your thing. Um, you get access to USPS and US, uh, UPS shipping services. Um, if you want to run, if you're running a business, this is also a great thing. Like everyone who I know who's, uh, um, who is shipping things out themselves with their business, stamps.com, uh, getting hooked up. Not only are you saving, uh, time, but you're also saving, uh, money because you do get discounts, uh, like that you can't find anywhere else up to 84% off U USPS and UPS shipping rates, which is, you know, amazing. Um, you can set up your business for success when you get started with stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code BASEMENT for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale, no long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and enter the code BASEMENT, okay? Uh, again, that is stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and enter the code, enter the code BASEMENT for a uh, four-week trial and free postage and a free digital scale, all right? So if you got a business and you want to start shipping stuff, start saving some money while doing it and get hooked up at stamps.com, all right? Um, anyway, today, I don't even know what we were supposed to talk about, but like... Uh, I actually, uh, can I intercut? Can I interject here? You want to intercut? Yeah. Um, Not a word. I What? Not a word. Intercut? Yeah. What do you mean it's not a word? Not for the setting. Not for the 
I and like, you're gonna intercut. You're gonna interject. But I'm not. I'm not ejecting. I'm cutting. Interjecting is what that means. I found something in your office that I it raised some eyebrows, especially since you were just talking about fingering inanimate objects and sucking them quite a bit. And it's this book. Well, usually, I'm sucking food. It's this book. Yeah. Um, which uh, it's called uh, for our audio only listeners. Uh, Doctor Sadie Allison's Tickle His Pickle: Your yeah. Hands-On Guide to Penis Pleasing. So cool. Yeah. Awesome. I'm listen. Whoever you are, you want to suck on wangs? Awesome. <laughs> Why was this at your desk? Because I know you, and I don't think you're actively doing that. Sucking, sucking dicks? Um, so, do you care to explain, or... Can I have the book? Well, no. Just show me. Give me the book. Uh, it's by Dr. Sadie Allison. Uh, Meet America's Pleasure Coach. Yeah. Uh, also the best-selling author of The Mystery of the Undercover Clitoris. Ooh. Where I thought we figured out that it's there. Yeah, it's not. What do we mean undercover? Well, sometimes it's undercovers. Are there? <laughs> do we gotta go f- like looking for this thing again? I mean, sometimes you gotta like get it. Was that? Oh, oh, what was that? You spread. You gotta yeah. Okay. You gotta you know. Uh, ride 'em cowgirl. That's a different book. That's a different book. Probably about riding. Tickle your fancy, which. That's probably about asshole play. Yeah, it must be in the same universe as like you know the other the, the tickle his pickle. Yes. Because then there's also tickle my tush. Oh, that one's about asshole. It's like the Hunger Games. You know, Hunger Games. Hunger you know, Games. The second two. one, the third one. I don't know the name. <laughs> Order of the Phoenix. Um, uh, that's Harry Potter. Yeah, I just realized that. <laughs> there's something with the Phoenix though. I think in those movies. Uh, hot, hot fe- burning Phoenix. No, I think hot, it's hot. Catching Fire. Is one of the the <laughs> Hunger Games it? books? Yeah, I think the Phoenix is all Harry Potter, babe. Whatever. Uh, but this is you know this is like the sequel to Tickle My Fancy, and then Toygasms. That's a good one, apparently. Yeah, apparently I don't. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to like explain or? Um, well, the real answer is there's a uh, video coming out on YouTube.com/slash Sanagato Studios where we. Uh, I opened up a mystery box of sex toys from a company. Okay. And uh, we kind of went through all of them. Is that what that giant box of sex toys is right there? Yeah, it is. That's, I got to say. It's per, a giant that's box. That's a pretty big box It's of a giant sex box toys. of sex toys. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things there that we kind of, some, some of them we like used actively. On each other? You and Greg? No, we didn't, we didn't like insert, but there are some stuff like there's some. You bring, you bring that, that. There's some candle wax stripping that we may or may have done oh stuff you, ever, like that. you ever done that sucking a nipple sucking machine not a machine get that, that a device they're called, they're called breast pumps why the fuck are we like well i sucked my nipple that's so fucked up we charge hundreds of dollars for breast pumps for expecting and and new moms but then you can go on fucking these sex websites and get nipple sucking things for like 30 bucks to be fair I see the problem here. It's not a it's not a machine. It's just like a thing. It's a, a hand pump? Kind of. Ooh. Well, yeah. Did your nipples get fat again? <laughs> get fat again. You had fucking puffy nipples. We've you, talked you about it. You love talking about it. We've talked about Can it. Can I have this for a second though? Um uh, sure. Don't show them the inside of the book because I know. I've every page I've opened open to, there is a penis. Yeah, and like whoever drew the the dicks in this book. Kudos. Really? I feel like these are good res- represent. Oh, never mind. That was a bottle of champagne. I thought it was a uh, <laughs> ejaculating wing. Oh well, I guess that's, a- that's what they're trying to elicit with that picture. Yeah, there was one thing I wanted to talk to you about actually because there. Oh, so you read through the book? Well, in the video I did. This is the page. Wow, that's so crazy. Um, in the in the. Um- I love how he's like. I don't know where. It, it, oh, right here. It's yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. perfect. Uh, no, but there was. Uh, I went through and I was like, okay. But as someone who has a penis, last I checked, yes. Yeah, last I've checked, yeah. Well, there was two. There was two uh, pictures of in penises. Here. Yeah, because this one is like. Um, oh, this also said foreskins how to, but it's, this says great giving great hand, right? So hand. Yeah. The first thing that is, uh, you know, one of the um, suggested methods to hand jobbing is called the cigar roller. Listen, I, in my past, I've enjoyed a cigar. Yeah, but so the, the picture just has like the penis. Well, yeah. And then the, <laughs> and then the hands on the outside. 
and doing this. That's never happened to me. Like you're washing your hands with dick? Or just... <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like happy this. birthday to you. Yeah, like... Happy like, birthday. Why the fuck are you saying happy birthday? That's what they say. You don't remember? Like during like 2020, it's always like if to properly wash your hands, you sing happy birthday twice. Oh, I didn't... No, I've never heard that. Yeah, so that yeah, was fucking yeah, yeah. strange. Yeah. The other thing... <laughs> you got to get in your fucking... What was the thing that I was doing during COVID where I was washing my hands and I was like, it was such like a, I was like, oh, that's like a really good way to wash your hands. But I forgot what I was doing. I don't know. That was so pointless. Way to think, way, way to give some quality entertainment. You guys having a good time? <laughs> um, so the other thing though, it's called two thumbs up, right? And what they- Where are the thumbs up? I'm going to get to that. What are the thumbs up? So- the two thumbs up method is like, so this is the penis. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, that's a penis. That's a, that's a, cock. That's a cock. Yeah. So you have the cock, right? Uh-huh. And now just a little... this is the part that he sees. So the, this is the bottom part of the cock. So you're, you're the, you're the, I'm where the balls are. You're the recipient. No, no, no. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're a recipient of whatever. I'm, jer- may... I'm handing the cock. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So this is the top of the dick and like, this is his body. And then these are his legs down here. So this is, I'm looking at the bottom of the way, the, the yin yang. Yeah. And she takes her thumbs like this and is pushing upward and then making circle motions at like the tip, like where the shaft meets the tip, how it kind of looks like a. Something? What's that? I don't know. Like a like the way she drew it. You know, there's like a like the, it the crescent. Comes, yeah, like like the pinnacle. The the the, pe- not the, the top pe- of the head. No, it's not the top of the head. It's where the shaft oh, meets the head. Oh, like you meets know, meets the rim. Oh, what is like the Suez Canal? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, I, you're not good at metaphors. Yeah, <laughs> but she's going like this. Oh, to the no. bottom of his stuff, and I'm like. What is that? Doing? That's how you. That's isn't that like a trick to like open wine bottles without a cork, like screw <laughs> or something like that? Like you fucking like add heat right here and then. Yeah. Ma- oh. oh I guess, maybe it's like that. I guess we figured it out. Maybe. Oh, that doesn't sound cool though. That sounds like it would fucking cause a little too much friction. You're lighting my dick on fire. There's another one on this page that I'm seeing for the first time, and it's called knob polisher. This <laughs> I've actually had happen to me, and I did not like it. No, but it's like you're says, polishing an apple. <laughs> Place your open palm. You're going to do it. Ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need to tell me. I was going to do it anyways. Place your open palm on the top of the head of his penis. Right? Enclose him in your fingers. Like you're a fucking like xenomorph. Uh, and begin twisting around like you're polishing a knob. I mean, you have to twist your hands, not the penis. How you- do you know I'm not doing that right now? Because I could see your wrist moving, and I'm a <laughs> human being. <laughs> but it's like is, you're, yeah. Like, how would that be cool? Wasn't this called the starfish? Like the other day, the starfish. Like she's oh. going like this. Who? What? What the hell? Well, that doesn't sound rad. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if these are cool. This one is the turtleneck. No lube necessary. Firm grasp. Grasp him firmly, just under the ridge. And stretch his skin without. Oh, you need to know. This, is she giving you fucking basic anatomy in this too? She's saying names like ridge and fucking pinnacle. Yeah, I don't. Well, you said pinnacle. She didn't. Yeah. Oh, this one. She's fingering her balls. Oh no! Look, you see the finger in the balls? Yeah, I see them. Those are fucking. Those are nuts. Those are fucking balls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pull? this one's. Wait. Wait. You still haven't answered the question I proposed. Which one? Why did you have this on your desk? I'll get. To- I understand why you had it. Because it was sent. Yeah. It looked like you were doing some like heavy reading. And you've posted pictures of you reading like books from like the CEO and creator of Twitter and like other one about books where it's like money is hilarious. <laughs> why why did you have one about fucking sucking and fucking you know, pickles? I'll get I'll I'll get to that. But this one Again, th- he's not answering my question here, I, folks. But I have to say this one. This one's called um wait. Oh, too much dead space here. No, no, no. <laughs> no, this one's called Taint It Fine. Um, like, ain't it fine. With, with a taint. Press your fingertips, knuckles, or a fist, which is what they chose to Don't draw. Don't do that. Gently into his taint. Stroke with your other hand. So, imagine getting your taint Bro, fisted. that's a tight rope that you're walking there. Oh, no. You're punching his fucking No, pooch. that doesn't sound cool. Yeah, press your fucking fist in his taint. I wouldn't want that. That would be too much pressure and just wild, like... You're you got to be careful, man, because you are the taint is like no man's land. You are on either side of the battle there. On one side you got fucking nuts. 
On the other side, you have Bunge Hong. <laughs> so Bunge Hong. You you miss that fist or knuckles or fingertips. You're going Bro, into. Look at that. I can't. What am I looking at? This. Oh, she's putting her fingers in his mouth. Yeah, and blowing them. That's not really cool. She doesn't really look like she's like hunched over. She looks like Schmeagle. Kind of. She's like, it's my precious. Yeah. <laughs> she's fucking going to town. It's kind of nuts, man. Good for this this thing. Oh, we just got, I just saw you. What is this? I got to say, if you have figured out a way to write a book about it and make millions, all the power Whoa, to you. All the power full to mount. No way. No. That's no. kind of, that's dope. That's for who? Me. Who are you in that situation? The man. Wow. So you only believe that it could be man and woman. Wow, Joey. Jesus. That is a man and woman. I know. I know. I know. I'm joking. Yeah. That's uh, That's a weird nipple. I wouldn't put anyone through that. I wouldn't be able to to look my wife in the eye if I did that. Yeah, this guy's just Because her eyes would be encrusted in pink. Pink eye, but... Bud stuff. Yeah, that's kind of wild. But yeah, so that the book though. <laughs> what was your question? <laughs> yeah, you like, you had it. I understand why it was within the confines yeah. of these walls. Yeah. But it, I, no clarification on. It was why. on my desk. Yeah. This desk? No. That desk. Yeah. Oh. Your white desk. Right. And you know why I'm saying that. No. I walked in. I haven't been here in a couple days. Joey got like new stuff, like new desks, tables, pens, fucking pens. <laughs> Tell me right now, do you think he uses pens? He absolutely doesn't. Everything <laughs> white, and not like like white and black. Everything white. <laughs> you know exactly what you were it's doing. It's like there. Severance. What's that? It's a show. It's really oh, good. oh, with Adam Scott. Yeah, I never watched it. It's pretty good. You know what I'm watching right now? Mm. Yellow Jackets. Bees. Um, not the physical animal. It's a show on Showtime. You watch bees, Frank? I would watch bees, but it's I, a show. I'd watch bees too. It's a show on Showtime. So far, not bad. I actually love bees <laughs> because yeah, like I if you watch segments on bees, they're kind of cool. No, bees are awesome, and queen bees are terrifying. Well, because they don't do any of the work. They got fat asses. They do have big old badoons. How do you become a queen bee? You just got to be like, you just got to have a fat ass. I think you need to be a part of like a group of like other bees that is like rad and then like drop a couple albums and then leave the other two bees that are like weighing you down a little bit yeah, to be like, like your own bee and then like find like the, like the Jay-Z of bees and then like eventually through time you'll become Beehive. the bee, the queen bee. Beyonce, yeah. Yeah. That's probably what it is. But I'm very confused by how you make a queen bee. That is a good question. And is it like... Can she only give birth to queens? Is she? I don't know. I, I don't know. And they just follow her. So like... Bro, they'll die for this woman. Well, yeah. They, they like... So the, the beekeepers will like go and like find the queen bee, pick that bitch up, put Whoa, her... Oh, again! Put her in a box, right? Don't tell the bees. And you put her in a box. <laughs> you can call bitch bees bitches. They won't hear. And then the other bees will just go follow her. Because they'll be like, yo, bitch with fat ass love. We got to go back to the fat ass Bro, bee. follow her. They will, like, legit do anything for her. Like, they'll, if, like, the queen bee is, like, telling them in, like, buzz language, like, yo, like, kill yourselves right now. They're like, no fucking problem. Yeah, man. yeah. It's kind of crazy. Bro, one of the most satisfying things to see in the world is someone just scraping a honeycomb. Like a real honeycomb where it's like, just, ooh, yeah. uh, I'm like, oh, fuck! Yeah, I love this shit. I've always wanted to like meet like an apiarist or someone like that. That oh, actually what? Does. That's what they're called, apiarists, beekeepers. Call them beekeepers. Well, no, because their names are apiarists. I believe. I don't remember now. Actually, I should probably look it up. Uh, I'm not gonna look it up. That's what they're called. Okay. Uh, but like, bro, when they like open it and they like scrape it down, oh. and like you just see it like kind of like rolling into each other. Is that like their money though? Are we like robbing bees of like their everything? No one has money except for us. We're only dumb idiots with money. That's right. That is true. Uh, I will say, I am one of those people, and I know you're gonna be like one of those people too. Have you ever tried mead? I want to uh, try no. mead. There's a there's a meadery in Brooklyn that's like run by one of the fucking you know uh, fucking cool twins that were in Big Daddy, the Sprouse, the sp- dudes, the sp- Cole and Dylan Sprouse. Dylan, I swore it was like Nate. Is it Dylan? Oh, it is Dylan Sprouse. I I'm believe it's out. Cole and Dylan. Yeah, Cole, yeah. Cole Sprouse. But I want to try mead because it, like alcohol from honey. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I wonder if it'll be good. It's got to be good, right? 
I mean, honey. Have you ever like chewed on honeycomb, like gum? Honeycomb gum? No, like they sell oh. honeycomb, and you could take a piece of it and chew it like gum. You just can't blow bubbles with it. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think you should do it. I'll, I'll suck some honeycomb. Again, you've been doing a lot of talk about sucking. Well, they're porous, dude. You're supposed to suck. Honeycomb. I just want to let you know, seriously. Yeah. Whatever lifestyle changes you are feeling, I support you and love you wholeheartedly, and I would be honored if you would share them with me. You know what's weird? I suck stuff that probably doesn't deserve it, but then I bite stuff that you're supposed to suck. Walk me. Walk me through Like it. lollipops. Pretend I'm an idiot. Ice pops. Ice cream sometimes. I bite ice cream. I'm an ice cream biter. I can't bite it too hard because of my little teeth. Well, we've Get discussed hurt. it. Your teeth are pretty little. <laughs> No, but if you bite too much ice cream, it's like your teeth get fucking cold. So you have to like be strategic about when you're biting. I understand that. I actually work opposite. I've and I, I'm I'm interested to see what you think about this. Is mm -hmm. there a time of the year you prefer ice cream? Hotness. I don't. I prefer ice cream in the winter, and I prefer soup in the summer. Why? Because it's like a good way to remind yourself of like enjoying the nature around you. Like when it's nice and warm out, you have a nice warm bowl of soup. Why do you say stuff like that? That's like clearly so ridiculous. Why like, is that ridiculous? Because you're like, I'm you're, learning. Frankie, you're not changing the world. You're eating a soup. Yeah, I'm changing I my world. I like to world. remind myself of my environment. You know, you're no, eating soup, no, dude. No, no, no. Because I shared with you that I'm trying to be more present in the moment and remove like unnecessary noise and stimulation from my life. So when I want to talk about when soup. I want to talk about the way in which I ingest things to remind me of the beauty of my environment, let me fucking do it. Eating Why soup in the summer yes. reminds you of the environment? Yes, it does. How is that out of control? Because well, how Same with having cold in the cold. When you have ice cream in the winter, it's like it fits. It's like a sense of like symmetry. You know, like there's cold out there, cold in you. It's it's <laughs> it all flows together well. What are you saying? You are bound. You're like a hippie. You are uh, oh, fuck you. You are I think bound. You're one with the earth. Oh, there's snow outside. I would like to be one with the earth. I would like to be it because guess what? There's connections to our body in the earth, Joey. You, you're, now you're just saying words. I'm not saying words. Also, like, do you, when Look it, it up. snows out? Look up science. When it snows, <laughs> Google science right Google now. Science. <laughs> if when it snows out, you eat snow cones and you think like you're you're part of now you're closer to the earth. Well, the it fuck? makes it, first of all snow cones. Uh, I mean, depending on certain ones that you get, they're loaded with high fructose corn syrup, which is really just ruining your entire dietary system. Yeah. Do you like snow cones? Um, when they've melted a little bit, when I, they're I like don't really care about them. I miss slushies. They're dumb. Oh, do I miss slushies? Slushies are good. good. Surfing place. Those slushies. are dangerous, probably. Oh um, yeah. Oh, speaking of high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all that IBS. <laughs> all that IBS could be tracked. Yeah, back probably yet. right there. Yeah. Um, also, snow caps. What a shit candy. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever willingly had a snow cap, and if I have, I was in a lot of trouble. I yeah. For <laughs> punishment, eat these snow caps. Yeah. I would have to eat them though, because my grandma used to bring them over. My grandma had like what a dumb idiot your my, grandmother was. My grandma. <laughs> My grandmother had the worst taste in any sort of like enjoyable snack. Well, Joey, this, that's that's yo, not this your woman grandmother. Would bring over fig newtons. Oh, oh. she bring whoa, over. fig newtons are bad. They're not like a fuck. She made it seem like she was giving us candy, and I'm like, this is a that fig is candy. It's a fig newton. Yeah. It is a cookie, a fig. Frankie, you think fig newtons are candy? They're cookies. Frankie, I'd rather eat the inside of my couch <laughs> than eat a fig noodle. What a delicious inside of your couch you must I have. I used to love them, but it was because I was under her Irish spell. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she used to bring this candy that was purple, and it literally tastes like I'm eating a bottle of perfume. Yeah. And they were called, like, violet something. Well, well no, you know why. Because it was shoved in the bottom of her fucking gay-ass pocketbook <laughs> that was probably covered in the whatever, like fucking perfume she had at the no, time it's that was the taste it was like this violet no like like thing like it was just it was very bro floral. old people do have shitty taste in, in treats and candy my grandmother used to give me those fucking individually wrapped strawberry candies where the wrapper those are amazing look no they're not you don't like those no <laughs> oh my god those are amazing and then oh butterscotch candies those are trash be one or the other i yeah. like butter i like scotch 
They they don't meet together well. Uh, no, but butterscotch is, is is if you can make it yourself. Yeah, I used to remember how to make it, but I don't I don't right now, so I don't want to commit to anything. But the strawberry ones, that strawberry shit is mad good. No, Joey, the ones that are wrapped and look like strawberries, dude, they're not good. No, those are good. Those are the only candies that my grandma had that were like good. No, she would you know why they're not good? Just like you know why they're not good? And I'll tell you why. Because I would suck on that bad boy until it would get thin enough where I can break through, and it was like that jelly inside. Yeah, and then I would break up the hard outside, mix it up and it was like a ball of glass shards in my mouth i didn't fucking like it well you ate it wrong you well, idiot I no i didn't eat it wrong i was a child you were making a ball of glass you're not how you're supposed to do I it i can't believe you have this vendetta against fig newtons dude fig newtons are like well i was tricked into enjoying a good thing no but she made it seem bro like, i hope your grandmother's ooh, rolling your in her grave don't tell your mom about the. i was like yeah because it's it, they're cookies bro they are absolutely cookies. They're not great. Fig Newtons, dude. Come on. Dude, you're out of your mind. What were we? What got us here? What got us here? I have no idea. A snow caps. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, snow caps. My grandma used to be... She was like that, too. She would... Uh, the worst candies and treats. She'd be like, you want a piece of gum? And I'd be like, fuck yeah. And it'd be like free dent, like fucking white yeah. mint. And I'm like, what is this like, dog you shit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get this out of like... A hospital or something? What That's basically where she got it from. Yeah. It was awful. It you was what, so... You know what gum sucks? That zebra gum. Oh, well, yeah. That's not very good gum. Could, but I like the tin that it came in. It, it didn't come in a tin. It was a, ba- it was a paper thing. No, the, they, were like, they were in there, though. No, the tin that you're talking about is the beeper gum. It was beeper tin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those were fucking awesome. Give uh, me your top three gums. And I'm not talking flavors. I'm talking oh. brands. I... I'm I'm not really a big gum. You're not a gum guy. <laughs> what? Winter You're fresh. making fun of me. I like winter fresh and I like big red. You're putting winter fresh and big red as gum brands in your top two. <laughs> I don't know good gums. Oh wait, big no, league no. chew. Yeah, no. done. No, Bubblicious. No. Hello, no. hubba bubba. Hubba bubba. What's the double bubble? Those are ass. Yeah, no, they're pretty cool. Like unless you're at a baseball game. What? Well, no. They're pretty cool for the first like bite and a half because they get like fucking like like old person skin in your mouth, you know, where it's like they're like thin and kind of grainy. Yeah, I, I and then know. they get. I, I, I don't know what you mean <laughs> yes, by that. Yes, you do. I, I've never yes, had an old do. person skin in my mouth. Yes, you do. You know exactly what I'm talking I about. I don't. I don't. Frank. It gets like it's like when you first. It's so hard and you bite into it and it like it introduces the mo- the moisture of your mouth into it and it becomes like soft and dog shit like a old person's skin yes it's like soft and grainy and then like you chew more and it gets hard we're talking about gum yeah i know exactly what we're talking about i was just making sure because but i still don't know what you're talking big about big league chew is the pinnacle of gums baby i've had big league chew recently and it's really hard to have an appropriate amount of that gum. You need to have a lot of it. Well, even if I feel like I'm not having a lot, it ends up being a ton. Uh, what a problem. Yeah. I mean, the watermelon bubblish is, is very good. Watermelon Big League Chew is legitimately heroin, and I don't care. I do think that Winter Fresh and Big Red are like old reliables, though. No, but you're just saying that because of the flavor. The flavor of the winter fresh or the winter mint. What are we talking about if not the flavor of gum? The viscosity? I'm saying, I didn't, I said specifically, I don't care about flavor. I want your top brands. Oh, who makes those? Oh, those are the brands, I guess. I think they're made by somebody else, but like winter fresh, that's what I would say is the brand. Like Hubba Bubba, Big League Chew, Bubblicious. You know what sucks? I'm going to throw this out there. I don't I'm like sorry any- if I'm upsetting this. Bazooka Bubblegum? Is really not that good. I think people like it because they were idiots in like the 60s and 70s. And, and bazookas like, are cool. If we collect 100, we get a free t-shirt. Bro, it's 2023. I want a t-shirt. I go to Target. I get a t-shirt. Well, I also think that bazookas are cool. That's a good name. It is a good name for anything. Yeah, bazooka. That's, yeah. Like, that's, oh, she's got big bazookas. Oh, that's where you went? You went tits. Well, it could be anything. The guy instantly went to boobs. <laughs> I, yeah, that's usually. We're talking about children's gum. Uh, no, that gum is for everyone. Bazooka bubblegum is specifically, it's like marketed toward children. You eat it. I haven't had a piece of bazooka bubblegum in oh, years. So you're saying your favorite one, Bubblicious, Hubba Bubba, these are geared towards adults? They're, they're geared toward people that have a, a sense of humor about Hubba gum. Bubba, Hubba Bubba. Yes, Joey. Hubba Bubba and Bubblicious. Yes. Those are so adult sounding. They're not, I never said they were adult sounding. They're so it's for the same people thing. that like gum. Bazookas are dangerous, and they're uh, you use them in the war. And they also come with little fucking comics of some idiot who's just like, oh, it's stupid. It's all right. It's not the worst gum. The worst gum that we know of. 
you're not gonna like my answer because you like this gum a lot. I. So then let me tell mine before. Yeah. It's those fake ass gumballs that are in ice pops. Okay, that is actually the real answer. That's the real answer. Those are like not at the gum. end of a two ball screwball, I'm like, this is just dust. You know those commercials you see where like people take putty, they mix it together, and then like it's like hard as a rock. And you can like you can use it to repair like a door hinge or yeah. something. That's what that gum is. It's basically kinetic sand. Uh, that's a, thank you so much. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. What were you gonna say though? I gotta batten down the hatches for this. Yeah, I, I know that you like this gum. Um, so you like whatever, but like, I always thought that it was like the weakest one of like all the gums that were out there. Oh, Not juicy fruit. Yeah. I yeah. Don't, that's I don't fine. Like that's that okay. It's, I love juicy fruit. I understand why it would be a bit, uh, it's like, it's to me, it's like, it runs out pretty quickly. It does. And it's like, if you put it next to like spearmint, winter fresh, big red, I'm like, these like are better gums. Uh, yeah. I mean, I like it, but I can Spearman understand. Spearmint it actually might be my favorite like gum. Oh, wow. Wh- how, when were you born? 1802? <laughs> Spearmint? Spearmint. What was it? What's the one with the twins? How's it go? That's the Doublemint twins. Doublemint twins. <laughs> Doublemint. What a weird marketing thing for gum. <laughs> Get two whores in here. <laughs> yeah. What a weird marketing thing for gum. Uh, how are we going to sell this gum? Get two whores that look alike. <laughs> with big bazookas. Yeah, with bazookas and points. Yeah, it, didn't, it didn't really make any sense as a marketing thing for gum. Yeah. But all the like five gum and like I hate orbits. that five gum is trying to be like sexy. Hot. Yeah, I'm bro. Like, you're not Axe Body Spray. I'm bro, sorry. Yeah, they're trying to be the Axe Body Spray yeah. of gum. They're like... You know what happens when you chew five gum? You get fucking wet and horny. Yeah, it's, it's like, like you get so much pussy. Bro, I just want to chew on something to f- fucking satisfy my oral fixation. Yeah, it's like I'm drunk driving. I just want the cops <laughs> to not smell my breath. <laughs> <laughs> well, these commercials where it's like, what it's like to chew five gum, and it's like a person hanging, and there's like a thirty thousand speakers behind them. Yeah, I'm it's like, like, bro, I'm not trying to have an orgasm. Yeah, I just want to <laughs> eat gum. Like, stop making this like a sexy thing. It's like a dude eats gum and a, and a hot woman gets right in his ear and is like, ah. Oh. <laughs> just like, dude, yeah. I don't, I just, bro, I just want to, like, I don't want to chew like this gum. Stinks, bro, dude. I want to chew this gum, not fucking <laughs> cheat on my wife here. Like, figure, come on. I didn't, like, didn't make, I'm I, not eating gum to, like, get pussy, dude. Like, I ate something with garlic in it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, fucking exactly. I don't, gum. I, I don't, I want to mask the fact <laughs> that I just fucking absolutely destroyed a gyro. Dude. A gyro. <laughs> <laughs> what it's like to chew five gum and it's like icy hot water like on a fucking person's lap it's like bro come on figure this out a tsunami of like ice shards just like tsh- yeah I don't and then Orbit went the other way Orbit was like if you're chewing it you're doing it with being a baby those are just like our like insurance commercials to me I'm like this is stupid I don't need to be sold Just it's the gum. Fucking gum it's gum it sells itself I've never seen a winter fresh or a big red commercial in my life no they, they've had them I remember because I remember the, the double mint twin commercials well, yeah where it'd be like fucking like <laughs> chew double mint gum <laughs> got me <laughs> love, love that gum <laughs> Oh I don't, I don't, like, gum sells itself. <laughs> it's, it's gum, guys. It's gum. That was so stupid. <laughs> what you just did. It made no sense. <laughs> it's gum, everyone. Oh, it's fuck. just gum, guys. It's just gum. You, you, you need to do zero things to market gum. <laughs> it's going to get bought and chewed. Yeah, say like a dentist recommends it or whatever the fuck. No, even that makes me want to stay away from it. I don't want gum that's healthy. Yeah, me Or gum that's going to help me quit smoking. (laughs) I want gum that's going to make me feel like I'm chewing on something that fucking passed the time right now. Oh, God. Why did you make that sound? That's what they did. That was the the marketing. Oh, fuck. And those double mint twins. It made no sense. They're selling. They're selling. I can't stop laughing. They're selling gum. I don't need to see fucking big old knockers. Just give me the gum. Cinnamon raisin, lightly toasted, and a stick of double mint gum. Oh fuck! I have a fucking headache. Oh bitch. What a time. All right. I think we can end the podcast. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> we didn't tell you about it earlier, but Patreon. 
We're fucking crushing it. We're crushing records. So thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And tell your friends about it. We want to keep climbing. We want to get closer and closer to the age of consent that Joey listens to. What? I, I think we're at 18 right now. We work hard. We'll get right where Joey likes it at 16. So Yo, what? <laughs> Patreon.com slash the basement yard. Uh, go sign up, tell your friends about it. It's really great. And thank you so much. We want to keep oh. breaking records. We're excited for 2023. And find me at FAlvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, uh, everything. Go, uh, go check it out. Joe? <laughs> oh my God. This is a, normally toward the end of episodes, we slow down a little bit. <laughs> we fucking, picked it all the way up. We picked it right up. <laughs> fucking gum, untapped area. <laughs> Uh, you guys who follow me on Joe Santagato, go follow the show on TikTok and Instagram at The Basement Yard, and that is all. See you guys next time. <laughs>